Good morning, everybody. Welcome to your Bikram Yoga 90 Minutes. We will start with pranayama deep breathing. That's good for the lungs and the respiratory system. We're breathing in through the nose, out by the mouth, and the whole time using your throat. We're breathing in as long, as slow, and deep as possible. Feet together nicely, your heels and toes together. Interlock your 10 fingers. The knuckles stand at the chin like glue throughout the entire breathing exercise. Focus on yourself. Concentrate. Meditate. Start, please. Inhale, head down, elbows up. Elbows go all the way up towards the ceiling. Suck your stomach in. Rib cage should be visible in the front mirror. Full lungs. Exhale, head up. Slowly the head goes back. You're looking way, way back for the back wall. Keep your eyes open so you don't get dizzy. Palms together. Elbows touch together away from your chest. Inhale, head down, elbows up. Take your time. The slower you do, it's better for you. Suck your stomach in, stomach in, suck it in, tighten it up and hold it. Exhale, head up, slowly the head goes back. The neck might hurt a little bit. Palms together, elbows touch together away from your chest. Inhale, head down, elbows up. Stomach, stomach, stomach. Depression of the abdominal wall, contraction of the abdominal muscles. Full lungs, hold the breath. Exhale, head up, slowly the head goes back. Big H-A, ha sound, the mouth is nice and wide open, palms together, elbows touch together away from your chest, inhale, head down, elbows up, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold it, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, Hold it, inhale, head down, elbows up. Knuckles stay touching with your chin like glue. Only the arms and the head are moving simultaneously to the count of six. Exhale, head up. Slowly the head goes back. Spine is straight, hip muscles nice and tight contracted. Push them forward towards the mirror. Elbows touch together away from your chest. Inhale, head down, elbows up. Use your throat. The mouth and the nose are only the passageways. Use your throat, suck your stomach in. Full lungs, hold the breath, exhale, head up. Slowly the head goes back, chest stays lifted. Don't collapse into your chest. Spine is straight, there's no hunchback. Elbows touch together away from your chest. Inhale, head down, elbows up. Rib cage should be sticking out both sides of the body. Open your chest, expand the rib cage. Full lungs, hold the breath, exhale, head up. Slowly the head goes back. Maximum body weight stays on your heels. Palms together, elbows touch together away from your chest. Inhale, head down, elbows up. Stretching out the intercostal muscles of the ribcage as you inhale. Full lungs, hold the breath, exhale, head up. Slowly the head goes back. The more you exhale here, the more fresh air you'll take on the next breath. Palms together, elbows touch together away from your chest. Inhale, head down, elbows up. Arms and head are moving simultaneously to the count of six. Exhale, head up. Slowly the head goes back. You're looking way, way back for the back wall. Keep your eyes open. Palms together. Elbows touch together away from your chest. Inhale, head down, elbows up. Take your time. The slower you go, it's better for you. Suck your stomach in. Stomach in, suck it in, tighten it up and hold it. Exhale, head up. Slowly the head goes back. You're looking way, way back for the back wall. Keep the eyes open. Palms together. Elbows touch together away from your chest. Inhale, head down, elbows up. Stomach, stomach, stomach. The more you suck your stomach in, the more air you'll get into your lungs. Full lungs, hold the breath. Exhale, head up. Slowly the head goes back. Chest stays lifted. Don't collapse into your chest. Spine is straight. There's no hunchback. Elbows touch together away from your chest. Inhale, head down, elbows up. Last breath in the first set. Make it a big breath. If you think the lungs are full, expand them more. Take more and more air for lungs. Exhale, head up. Palms together, elbows touch together, away from the chest. And that's enough. Arms down by your side, stand still. Second set, feet together nicely, your heels and toes together. Interlock your ten fingers, the knuckles stand at the chin like glue throughout the entire breathing exercise. Focus on yourself, concentrate, meditate, start please. Inhale, head down, elbows up. Elbows go all the way up towards the ceiling, shoulders might hurt a little bit, spine, straight chest up, full lungs, exhale, head up. Slowly the head goes back, you're looking way, way back for the back wall, keep your eyes open, palms together, elbows touch together away from your chest. Inhale, head 
down, elbows up, stomach, stomach, stomach. The more you suck your stomach in, the more air you'll get into your lungs. Full lungs, hold the breath, exhale, head up. Slowly the head goes back, spine is straight, hip muscles nice and tight, contracted. Push them forward towards the mirror, elbows touch together away from your chest. Inhale, head down, elbows up, one, two, three, four, five, six, Hold it, exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it, inhale, head down, elbows up, knuckles stay touching with your chin like glue. Only the arms and the head are moving simultaneously to the count of six. Exhale, head up. Slowly the head goes back. Maximum body weight stays on your heels. Palms together, elbows touch together away from your chest. Inhale, head down, elbows up. Use your throat. The mouth and the nose are only the passageways. Use your throat, suck your stomach in. Full lungs, hold the breath, exhale, head up. Slowly the head goes back. Spine is straight, hip muscles nice and tight, contracted. Push them forward towards the mirror. Elbows touch together away from your chest. Inhale, head down, elbows up. Rib cage should be sticking out both sides of the body. Open your chest, expand the rib cage. Full lungs, hold the breath, exhale, head up. Slowly the head goes back. You're looking way, way back for the back wall. Keep your eyes open, palms together, elbows touch together away from your chest. Inhale, head down, elbows up. Each time, especially towards the end here, you have to inhale more than the last time. Take more and more and more. Full lungs, exhale, head up. Slowly the head goes back. Keep your chest lifted, spine is straight, palms together, elbows touch together away from your chest. Inhale, head down, elbows up. Each time, especially towards the end, you have to inhale more than the last time. Take more and more and more air for lungs. Exhale, head up. Slowly the head goes back. Maximum body weight stays on your heels. Palms together, elbows touch together away from your chest. Inhale, head down, elbows up. Take your time. The slower you do, it's better for you. Suck your stomach in, stomach in, suck it in, tighten up and hold it. Exhale, head up, slowly the head goes back. Big HA ha sound. The mouth is nice and wide open, palms together, elbows touch together away from your chest. Inhale, head down, elbows up. Each breath a little bit deeper, a little bit stronger than the last one. Suck your stomach in, full lungs. Hold the breath, exhale, head up, slowly the head goes back. You're looking way, way back for the back wall, eyes open, palms together, elbows touch together away from your chest. Inhale, head down, elbows up. Last breath in the second set. Make this the biggest breath you've taken all day long. Use your extra strength, suck your stomach in, full lungs, hold the breath, exhale, head up. Palms together, elbows touch together away from the chest. And that's enough. Arms down by your side, stand still. Next is half moon pose with hands to feet pose. Adha Chandrasana with Parahastasana. Feet together nicely, your heels and toes together. Arms over the head sideways, hands, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release the index fingers. Your thumbs are crossed. Nice tight grip, please don't lose the grip. Your hands, palms are touching each other like glue up to the wrist throughout the entire posture. Stretch up towards the ceiling, move your body, right and left, right and left, right and left. You should feel stretching down both sides on the body all the way up to your fingertips. In other words, you're trying to touch the ceiling, right and left, right and left, right and left. When you can't stretch anymore, please stop in the middle, stop in the middle. Elbows locked. Arms always touching with your ears, no gap between the biceps, the arms and the ears. Push your hips forward towards the mirror, opening up your hips and pelvis. Upper body leans back a couple of inches, opening up your chest and ribcage. Throughout the posture, maximum body weight stays on your heels. Arms and head back, chin up, focus one point on yourself in the front mirror. Don't even blink your eyes, inhale, breathing, full lungs, hold the breathing, stretch up towards the ceiling, absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the right. Without bending your elbows, without bending your knees, continuously push your hips to the left, beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling on the left side of the body. It's all over inside out, bones to skin, fingertips to your toes. Push your hips more forward, upper body leans back a couple of inches, maximum body weight stays on your heels. Push your left hip forward a little bit towards the room to get your two hips in one line from the side, right shoulder comes forward, opening up your chest like a flower petal blooming, come down, push, 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 inhale, breathing, come up, stop in the middle, stretch up towards the ceiling, absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the left, you're stretching up and over, there's no collapsing into your chest, your chin is away 
away from your chest, your whole throat visible. Keep the arms back with your ears, lock the elbows, lock the knees, push your hips to the right. Beyond your flexibility, you're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling on the right side of the body. It's all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingertips to your toes, push your hips more forward, upper body leans back, maximum body weight stays on the heels. Push your right hip forward a little bit towards the mirror to get the two hips in one line from the side. Left shoulder comes forward, opening up your chest like a flower petal blooming. Come down, push. 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 Inhale, breathe in. Come up, stop in the middle, backward bending. Back's gonna hurt like hell. Don't be scared. Take a deep breath. Drop your head back as far as it goes. Look at the floor behind you. Arms back immediately, try and touch the wall behind you. Bend your spine backwards, cock six to the neck, lower back, middle back, upper back. Your total spine is backward bending, push the upper body back. You're trying to fall down backwards, 100% body weight stays on your heels. Inhale, breathing, push your stomach, legs, hips, everything more forward towards the mirror. Arms back, look back, go back, way back, more back, fall back. Inhale, breathing, come up, stop in the middle, bend your knees. Put your hands on the floor in front of you and move your hips several times. Right and left and right and left. Making sure the lower spine stays nice and loose, easy, flexible, comfortable. So this is a U-turn from backward <coughs> bending to forward bending. Please be careful here. The spine is not quite warmed up yet. Right and left, right and left. Parahastasana, grab your heels from behind, underneath your heels, stepping on all five fingers of each hand. Two little baby fingers touching each other side by side. Elbows behind your legs on the calf muscles throughout the posture. Pull on your heels as hard as possible, stretching your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. You must touch your stomach on your thighs, chest on your knees, face on the legs below the knees. From the side, your body looks like a Japanese ham sandwich, no gap anywhere. Pull on your heels, push your knees back, lock your knees. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling. It's a pain sensation all over underneath your legs, from the bones to the skin, coccyx to the toes. With your smiling, happy face, pull on your heels, push your knees back, lock your knees. Exhale, breathing, lock your knees. Eyes open, touch your face to your shins, lock your knees. Roll forward, bat it on the toes, lock your knees. Last chance, lock your knees, lock your knees, lock your knees. Inhale, breathing, come up, arms and head together. And arms down by your side. Say good morning to your spine. Now we've moved the spine in all four directions. Second set. Feet together nicely, your heels and toes together. Arms over there sideways, hands, palms together, interlock your fingers. Release the index fingers, your thumbs are crossed. Nice tight grip, stretch up towards the ceiling. Absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the right. Without bending your elbows, without bending your knees, continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling on the left side of the body. It's all over inside out bones to skin fingertips to your toes push your hips more forward upper body leans back a couple of inches maximum body weight stays on your heels push your left hip forward a little bit towards the mirror to get your two hips in one line from the side alley right shoulder comes forward you're opening up your chest like a flower petal blooming come down push 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 in all breathing come up stop in the middle stretch up towards the ceiling absolutely straight line slowly bend your body to the left you're stretching up and over over. There's no collapsing into your chest. Keep your chin away from your chest, your whole throat visible. Arms back with your ears. Lock the elbows, lock the knees. Push your hips to the right beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling on the right side of the body. It's all over inside out, bones to skin, fingertips to your toes. Push your hips more forward. Upper body leans back a couple of inches. Maximum body weight stays on your heels. Push your right hip forward a little bit towards the mirror to get your two hips in one line from the side. Left shoulder comes forward. You're opening up your chest like a flower petal blooming. Come down, push. 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 Inhale, breathing. Come up, stop in the middle. Backward bending. Take a deep breath. Breath, drop your head back as far as it goes. Look at the floor behind you. Arms back immediately. Try and touch the wall behind you. Bend your spine backwards, cock six to the neck, lower back, middle back, upper back, your total spine is backward bending. Push the upper body back, you're trying to fall down backwards. 100% body weight stays on your heels. Inhale, breathing, push your stomach, legs, hips, everything more forward towards the mirror. Arms back, look back, go back, way back, more back, fall back. Inhale, breathing, come up, stop in the middle, bend your knees, put your hands on the floor in front of you and move your hips several times. Right and left and right and left. Again, making sure the lower spine stays nice and loose, easy, flexible, comfortable. 
Tuck and set, Padahastas, now grab your heels from behind, underneath your heels, stepping on all five fingers of each hand. Two little baby fingers touching each other side by side, elbows behind your legs on the calf muscles throughout the posture. Pull on your heels as hard as possible, stretching your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. You must touch your stomach on your thighs, protect your lower spine. Chest is on the knees, face is on the legs below the knees from the side. Your body looks like a Japanese ham sandwich, no gap anywhere, no room for light, no room for air. Pull on your heels, push your knees back, lock your knees. Pulling is the object of stretching, lock your knees. Eyes open, touch your face to your shins, lock your knees. Roll forward, butt it on the toes, lock your knees. Last chance, lock your knees, lock your knees, lock your knees. Inhale, breathe in, come up. Arms and head together. And arms down by your side. Stand still and take a breath. Awkward poses next, Utkatasana. Feet together nicely, your heels and toes together. Right leg steps to the right, six inches apart. Your heels stay invisible behind the toes. Looks like a perfect letter H. Keep six inches gap between your toes and your heels. Don't move your feet throughout the posture. Arms up parallel to the floor, elbows locked. Tricep muscles tight. Stretch your arms forward towards the mirror. You're trying to touch the mirror. Exhale, breathing. Suck your stomach in. Hold it in. Sit down. Feet flat position until your hips touch the chair. Spine straight to begin with. 100% body weight stays on your heels. Lift your chest up. Bend your total spine. Backward bending. Bring the upper body back. Suck your stomach in. Compression of the abdominal wall. Contraction of the abdominal muscles. Suck it in. Tighten it up and hold it. Rib cage should be visible in the front mirror. Open your knees. Knees, keep six inches gap between your toes, heels, knees and hands, lift your chest up, chin up, lean back, go back, way back, more back, you're trying to fall down backwards, inhale, breathe in, come up, stop in the middle, keep your arms there, second part, stand up on your toes, maximum, like a ballerina, tremendous concentration, you blink your eyes, you will lose the balance, stretch your spine, chest head, hold up, body up towards the ceiling, it's a natural human traction, sit down, on the top of your toes. Spine straight position from start to finish. Feel the hips and the head touching the imaginary wall. Sit down, sit down halfway until only your hips are touching the chair. Knees up towards the ceiling and chest up. Come up higher on the toes. Heels up, knees up, chest up, higher on the toes. Hips don't go below the chair. You're sitting on a chair. Inhale, breathing. Come up, heels down. Keep the arms there. Third part, come up a little bit on your toes. Squeeze your knees together. Exhale, breathing. Suck your stomach in. You go down as slow as possible. Take your time. Slower than you want to, it's your own count of 10. All the way down, all the way down. You're leaning against the wall. Continuously stretch your spine up towards the ceiling, creating a half inch gap between your hips and your heels. Squeeze your knees together and forward towards the mirror. Your thighs are parallel to the floor. The arms are parallel to your legs with your spine perfectly straight. 90 degree angle from the side, your body looks like a box. Squeeze your knees together, suck your stomach in, spine straight, slowly come up all the way up. All the way up, you're leaning against the wall. Heels down, right leg back, arms down, stand still. Second set, feet together nicely, heels and toes together. Right leg steps to the right, six inches apart. The heels stay invisible behind the toes. Looks like a perfect letter H, arms up, parallel to the floor. Elbows locked, tricep muscles nice and tight contracted. Stretch your arms forward towards the mirror. You're trying to touch the mirror, exhale, breathing, suck your stomach in, hold it in, sit down, feet flat position until your hips touch the chair. Spine straight to begin with, 100% body weight stays on your heels, lift your chest up, bend your total spine, backward bending, bring the upper body back, suck your stomach in. Compression of the abdominal wall, contraction of the abdominal muscles, suck it in, tighten it up and hold it. Rib cage should be visible in the front mirror, open your knees, keep six inches gap between your toes, heels, knees and hands, lift your chest up, chin up, lean back, go back, way back, more back, you're trying to fall down backwards, inhale, breathing, come up, stop. Up in the middle, keep your arms there, second part, stand up on your toes, maximum like a ballerina, tremendous concentration, you blink your eyes, you will lose the balance, stretch your spine, chest, and hold upper body, imagine I'm pulling your hair up towards the ceiling, sit down, on the top of your toes, spine straight position from start to finish, feel the hips and the head, touching the imaginary wall, sit down halfway, until only your hips are touching the chair, knees up towards the ceiling and chest up, come up higher on the toes, heels up, knees up, chest up, higher on the toes, Hips don't go below the chair. You're sitting on a chair. Inhale, breathing. Come up. Heels down. Keep the arms there. Third part. Come up a little bit on your toes. Squeeze your knees together.
together. Exhale, breathing, suck your stomach in. You go down, take your time. Slower than you want to, all the way down, all the way down. You're leaning against the wall. Continuously stretch your spine up towards the ceiling, creating a half inch gap between your hips and your heels. Squeeze your knees together and forward towards the mirror. Your thighs are parallel to the floor. The arms are parallel to your legs with your spine perfectly straight. If you want to test your control, you can bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce and balance. Squeeze your knees together, spine straight, all the way up, all the way up, leaning against the wall. Heels down, right leg back, arms down, stand still and take a breath. Ego pose is next, Garuasana. Identify your arms, which one is right, which one is left. Please don't mix them up. Feet together nicely, heels and toes together. Arms over the head sideways. Bring your right arm underneath your left arm. Cross the arms and twist like ropes. Bring your hands, palms in front of the face, thumbs towards your face, little fingers towards the mirror. If you're unable today to get the hands, palms to line up, interlace your fingers. Pull the elbows down towards the floor to get your fingertips below your nose. Fingertips should not be higher than your nose. Sit down until your hips touch the chair. Upper body leans back. Stay down there. Left your right leg. Bring it over the left leg. High as possible. Cross your legs and twist like ropes. Sit down more. Twist like ropes. Arch the upper body back. There's no gap anywhere between the ankle and the calf muscle. All the five toes should be visible in the front mirror. Bring your knees to the right. Upper body to the left. Line up your feet, knees, elbows, hands in one line. If the foot is coming out, sit down more. If you're losing your balance, lean the upper body back more. Suck your stomach in. Pull the elbows down towards the floor. Upper body leans back at the end. Change. Arms over the head sideways. Bring your left arm underneath your right arm. Cross the arms and twist like ropes. Hands, palms in front of the face. Pull the elbows down towards the floor. Get your fingertips below your nose. Sit down until the hips touch the chair. Upper body leans back. Stay down there. Lift your left leg. Bring it over the right leg. The higher you lift the leg, the more space you create, the more you cross and twist like ropes. Bring your knees to the left, upper body to the right, opening up the 14 largest joints in the human skeleton. There's seven on each side. If your foot is coming out, sit down more. If you're losing your balance, lean the upper body back. Suck your stomach in. Pull the elbows down towards the floor. Upper body leans back at the end. Change. Arms over the head sideways. Second set. Bring your right arm underneath your left arm. Cross the arms and twist like ropes. Hands, palms in front of the face. Pull the elbows down towards the floor. Get your fingertips below your nose. Sit down until your hips touch the chair. Upper body leans back. Stay down there. Left your right leg. Bring it over the left leg. High as possible. Cross your legs and twist like ropes. Sit down more. Twist like ropes. Arch the upper body back. There is no gap anywhere between the ankle and the calf muscle. All the five toes should be visible in the front mirror. Bring your knees to the right, upper body to the left, opening up the 14 largest joints. You've got scapula, deltoids, elbows, wrists, hips, knees and ankles. Foot is coming out, sit down more. Losing your balance, lean the upper body back more, suck your stomach in, pull the elbows down towards the floor, upper body leans back at the end. Change. Arms over the head sideways, bring your left arm underneath your right arm. Cross the arms and twist like ropes. Hands, palms in front of the face, pull the elbows down towards the floor, get your fingertips below your nose. Sit down until your hips touch the chair. Upper body leans back, stay down there. Lift your left leg, bring it over the right leg as high as possible. Cross your legs and twist like ropes. Sit down more. Twist like ropes, arch the upper body back. Bring your knees to the left, upper body to the right. Line up the feet, knees, elbows, hands in one line. If the foot is coming out, sit down more. If you're losing your balance, lean the upper body back more. Suck your stomach in. Pull the elbows down towards the floor. Upper body leans back at the end. Change. Arms over the head sideways. And arms on by your side. It's party time, everybody. Please have a drink of water if you need it. Party over. <clears throat> Standing head to knees next, Dandiyamana, Jani Sharasana. 
Feet together nicely, your heels and toes together. Shift the body into your left leg, wipe your hands, interlock your 10 fingers, grab your right foot in front of you, three inches below your toes, nice tight grip. Please don't lose the grip. Look in the mirror from start to finish. Focus one point on your left knee in the mirror to make sure the knee is absolutely locked to begin with. You don't have a knee. Your left leg should be solid, concrete, lamppost, unbroken. There is no need to bend. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently right leg lifts up and stretch forward towards the mirror until your leg is exactly parallel to the floor, no higher, no lower, the left knee stays locked. Take a deep breath, continuously keep kicking your right leg heel forward towards the mirror so you can turn the right foot in from the ankle towards your face with all the five toes turning in perpendicular. If your standing knee is bending today, the posture hasn't started yet. If both knees are locked and from the side, your legs look like a perfect upside down L as in Linda and still you can balance here comfortably, bend the elbows down towards the floor. Elbows touch the calf muscles. Eventually, elbows will go below the calf muscles. Change. Right leg down. Shift the body weight into your right leg. Wipe your hands. Inslock your 10 fingers and pick up your left foot. Same position, three inches below your toes. Focus on your right knee. Don't move or blink your eyes. Think very deeply about your standing knee. Distribute the body weight all over the standing foot the same. Don't let it roll to the outside of that foot. Right thigh muscle nice and tight, contracted. Nothing loose, nothing hanging. Suck your stomach in. Inhale, breathing slowly, Johnny, left leg lifts up. And stretch forward towards the mirror until your leg is exactly parallel to the floor, no high, no lower. The right knee stays locked. Take a deep breath, continuously keep kicking. You have to learn to flex your foot so that you can stretch your Achilles tendon exactly above the heel. If the standing knee is bending, the posture hasn't started yet. If both knees are locked and from the side, your legs look like an upside down elbows in Linda, bend the elbows down towards the floor, elbows touch the calf muscles, eventually elbows will go below the calf muscles, change left leg down, do the back bending one second, put your hands on the hips, relieve a little bit of pressure on your lower back, <coughs> second set, feet together nicely, your heels and toes together, shift the body into your left leg, wipe your hands, interlock your 10 fingers, grab your right foot, everybody together, use your Bengal tiger strength, your English bulldog determination, pick up the foot, start to finish, focus on your left knee in the mirror, make sure the knee is absolutely locked to begin with, you don't have a knee, left leg should be solid, concrete, lamppost, unbroken, there is no need to bend, inhale, breathing, slowly, gently, right leg lifts up, and stretch forward towards the mirror, until your leg is exactly parallel to the floor, no higher, no lower, the left knee stays locked. Take a deep breath, continuously keep kicking without stopping, without intermission. If both knees are locked and from the side, your legs look like an upside down L as in Linda, bend the elbows down towards the floor. Elbows go below the calf muscles, bring your body down. Tuck your chin to your chest. You can do it, Laura Lai. Tuck, tuck your fo touch your forehead to the knee, completing the posture, standing head to knee pose. And change. Come up the opposite way you went in and right leg down. Shift the body into your right leg, interlock your 10 fingers and pick up your left foot. Everybody together, don't hesitate, pick up the foot. Same position, three inches below your toes. Focus on the right knee. Think very deeply about your standing knee. Lock the knee, lock the knee, lock the knee. Inhale, breathing slowly, join your left leg lifts up and stretch forward towards the mirror until your leg is exactly parallel to the floor. No higher, no lower, the right knee stays locked. Take a deep breath, continuously keep kicking, kick your heel out, turn your toes in. All the five toes are turning in perpendicular, eventually beyond perpendicular towards your face. If that standing knee is bending today, the posture hasn't started yet. If both knees are locked and from the side, your legs look like an upside down L as in Linda, bend the elbows down towards the floor. Elbows go below the calf muscles, bring your body down. Tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, touch your forehead to the knee, completing the posture standing head to knee pose and change. Come up the opposite way you went in and left leg down. Very good effort everybody. <clears throat> Next is standing bow pulling pose. Dandya Mana Dhanurasana. Feet together nicely, your heels and toes together. Bring your right hand out to the right palm, facing up, elbow touching your body. Say, Mama, give me money. Mama. You've got money in your hand, don't turn your hand, don't drop the money. Bring your right hand out to the right, grab the right foot behind you. Hold from the inside at the ankle, fine fingers together, your thumbs are touching with your index fingers. Left arm up in front of you, chin close with your shoulder. Focus on your left knee in the mirror, make sure the knee stays locked throughout the posture. Bring your two knees together to start. Inhale, breathe in. Charge your body forward towards the mirror. You're trying to touch the mirror. Simultaneously kick, 
Kick your right leg back and up towards the ceiling. Bring your body down from the lower spine until your chest and abdomen are parallel to the floor. Continuously keep kicking. You should see the foot coming up over the top of your head in the front row. The two feet should be in one line from the side. Kick back more, kick harder. Right shoulder is invisible behind your left shoulder. Stretch your left fingertips more forward. You're trying to touch the mirror. Try to touch your shoulder to the chin. Your shoulder blade, your scapula coming out of the body. Two shoulders should be in one line from the side. The kicking and stretching should be equal and simultaneous. 50-50, you lose the balance. You're not kicking hard enough. Body down more. Stretch forward more. Go and touch the mirror. Kick more. Kick harder. The harder you kick, you will balance here forever. Body down. Stretch forward. Kick more. Kick harder. Kick up one more time. Kick. Change. Right leg down. Bring your left hand out to the left palm, facing up, elbow, touching your body. Bring your hand out to the left, grab the left foot behind you. Hold from the inside of the ankle, five fingers together. Right arm up in front of you, chin close to your shoulder. Focus on your right knee in the mirror. Make sure that knee stays locked. If the knee bends even a little bit, the posture is over. Bring your two knees together to start. Inhale, breathing. Charge your body forward towards the mirror. You're trying to touch the mirror. Simultaneously kick. Kick your left leg back and up towards the ceiling. Bring your body down from the lower spine until your chest and abdomen are parallel to the floor continuously keep kicking you should see the foot coming up over the top of your head in the front row the two feet should be in one line from the side kick back more kick harder left shoulder is invisible behind your right shoulder stretch your right fingertips more forward you're trying to touch the mirror try to touch your shoulder to the chin your shoulder blade your scapula coming out of the body two shoulders should be in one line from the side kicking stretching should be equal and simultaneous it's 50 50 you lose the balance you can try again Body down more, stretch forward more, go and touch the mirror, you have to kick more, you have to kick harder. The harder you kick, you will balance here forever. Body down, stretch forward, kick more, kick harder, kick up one more time, kick. Change, left leg down. You stand still, you take a breath, and we go again. Second set. Feet together nicely, heels and toes together. Bring your right hand out to the right palm, facing up, elbow touching your body, bring your hand out to the right. Grab the right foot behind you, hold from the inside of the ankle, five fingers together. Left arm up in front of you, chin close to your shoulder, focus on your left knee in the mirror. Make sure the knee stays locked throughout the posture. Bring your two knees together to start, inhale, breathing, charge your body forward towards the mirror, you're trying to touch the mirror. Simultaneously kick, kick your right leg back and up towards the ceiling. Bring your body down from the lower spine until your chest, your abdomen are parallel to the floor. Continuously keep kicking. You should see the foot coming up over the top of your head in the front row. The two feet should be in one line from the side. Kick back more, kick harder. Right shoulder is invisible behind the left shoulder. Stretch your left fingertips more forward. You're trying to touch the mirror. Try to touch your shoulder to the chin. Your shoulder blade, your scapula coming out of the body. Two shoulders should be in one line from the side right there, Jesse. Kicking and stretching should be equal and simultaneous. It's 50-50. The harder you kick, you will balance here forever. Body down more, stretch forward more. Go and touch the mirror. Kick more. Kick harder, kick up one more time, kick, change. So good, Jesse. Right leg down and bring your left hand out to the left palm facing up, elbow touching your body, bring your hand out to the left, grab the left foot behind you, hold from the inside of the ankle, five fingers together, right arm up in front of you, chin close with your shoulder, focus on your right knee, that's your foundation, if the knee bends, posture is over, bring your two knees together to start, inhale, breathing, charge your body forward towards the maria, trying to touch the mirror, simultaneously kick, kick your left leg back and up towards the ceiling, bring your body down from the lower spine until your chest and abdomen are parallel to the floor, Continuously keep kicking. You should see the foot coming up over the top of your head in the front mirror. The two feet should be in one line from the side. Kick back more, kick harder. Left shoulder is invisible behind the right shoulder. Stretch your right fingertips more forward. You're trying to touch the mirror. Try to touch your shoulder to the chin, your shoulder blade, your scapula coming out of the body. Two shoulders should be in one line from the side. Kicking and stretching should be equal and simultaneous. 50-50, the harder you kick, you will balance here forever. Body down more, stretch forward more, go and touch the mirror. Kick more, kick harder, kick up one more time, kick. Change, left leg down. Stand still, take a breath. Everybody come to the back of your mat, please, for balancing <coughs> stick pose to Lindanasana. This posture is only 10 seconds long. The moment you hear my clap, you step forward, you have to make up your mind to use your 100% strength in half a second. If you lay, posture is over. 
Feet together nicely, your heels and toes together. Arms over there sideways, hands, palms together, interlock your fingers, release the index fingers, your thumbs are crossed. Stretch your arms up towards the ceiling, you're trying to touch the ceiling. To make sure the elbows are locked, the arms stay touching with your ears throughout the posture, don't separate the arms from your head. Chin is away from your chest, upper body leans back a couple of inches, inhale breathing. Right leg steps forward, a big step, lock both knees, come down. Arms, body, head, legs, everything is parallel to the floor. From the side, your body looks like a T as in Tom. No broken umbrellas in the room, Get your leg up, lock your knee, point to your toes. Every muscle contracted in the body. Come down, leg up, body down, leg up. Stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch, 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 stretch. Inhale, breathing, come up, keep your arms there. Chin is away from your chest. Upper body leans back a couple of inches. Inhale, breathing. Left leg steps forward, a big step, lock both knees, come down. Chin is away from your chest. Look four feet in front of you at the left foot in the mirror. Get your leg up, lock your knee, point your toes to the back wall. Your whole body is stretching in opposite directions. It's a natural human tug of a get the leg up. Come down, leg up, body down, leg up. Stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch, 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 stretch. Inhale, breathing, come up. And arms down, stand still. And take a breath. Second set, feet together nicely, heels and toes together. Arms over there, sideways, hands, palms together, interlock your fingers, release the index fingers, thumbs are crossed. Stretch up towards the ceiling, chin away from your chest. Upper body leans back a couple of inches, inhale, breathing. Right leg steps forward, a big step, lock both knees, come down. Charge your body forward, you're trying to touch somewhere, get your leg up, lock your knee, point your toes to the back wall. Whole body stretching in opposite directions, it's a natural human tiger, we'll get the leg up. Come down, leg up, body down, leg up, stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch, 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 stretch. Chin, hold breathing, come up. Keep your arms there. Chin knees away from your chest. Upper body leans back a couple of inches. In, hold breathing. Left leg steps forward. Last chance. Ten seconds. Come down. Charge your body forward. You're trying to touch the mirror. Get your leg up. Lock your knee. Point your toes to the back. Or every muscle contracted in the body. Get your leg up. Get your leg up. Come down. Leg up. Body down. Leg up. Stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch. Stretch, 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 stretch. In, hold breathing, come up. Very good. And arms down. You stand still. And take a breath. Come to the left of your mat. Standing separate leg stretching pose. Dandiyamana, Babhakta Pada, Paschimottanasana. Feet together nicely, your heels and toes together. Arms over there sideways, right leg steps to the right big step. Four feet minimum. At the same time, arms down parallel to the floor. Two heels in one line, your feet are slightly pigeon-toed. Suck your stomach in, slowly bend your body down from the lower spine. Chin forward, looking at yourself and your knees are locked. When you cannot see yourself in the front mirrors anymore, grab the outside of your heels. Five fingers are together. Your thumbs are touching with your index fingers. Today is the beginner. If you cannot grab the outside of your heels, go for the outside of your feet. Make sure your knees are locked out. Roll forward like a wheel. Bring maximum body weight onto your toes. Try to touch your forehead to the floor in between your feet. If you cannot touch the forehead to the floor today, you can open the legs a little bit more and more and more. Eventually your whole spine will be straight from the coccyx to the neck with the forehead touching the floor in between your feet. First your legs are stretching, then your hips are stretching, your lower middle total spine stretching, eventually the whole body will be stretching 360 degrees inside out bones to skin, coccyx to the toes, coccyx to the forehead, the forehead is touching the floor in between your feet, keep pulling, pull harder, Turn forward, roll forward, touch your forehead to the floor. Slowly come up, arms and head together. Right leg back, arms over your head. And arms down, stand still, and take a breath. Second set, feet together nicely, heels and toes together. Arms over the head sideways, right leg steps to the right big step, four feet minimum. At the same time, arms down parallel to the floor. Two heels in one line, your feet slightly pigeon toed, suck your stomach in, slowly bend your body down. Chin forward, looking at yourself and your knees are locked. Grab the outside of your heels, five fingers are together. Your thumbs are touching with your index fingers. Roll forward like a wheel, bring maximum body weight onto your toes. Try to touch your forehead to the floor in between your feet. If you cannot touch the forehead, you open the legs a little bit more and more and more. First your legs are stretching, then your hips are stretching. Your lower middle total spine stretching. Eventually your whole body will be stretching. 360 degrees inside out, bones to skin, coccyx to the toes, coccyx to the forehead. The forehead is touching the floor in between your feet. Keep pulling. Pull harder, chin forward, roll forward, touch your forehead to the floor. Slowly come up, arms and head together. Right leg back, arms of your head. And arms down, stand still. Have a little water if you want before triangle pose. 
Trikonasana, the master posture in the standing series. You're going to use every aspect of your body. Let's begin. Triangle pose. Feet together nicely, heels and toes together. Arms over there, sideways, right leg steps to the right, big step. Four feet minimum. Immediately, arms down parallel to the floor. Push your hips forward towards the mirror. Upper body leans back a couple of inches. Turn your right foot out to the right. Turn it a half an inch more until it's exactly parallel. Two heels in one line from the side. Inhale, breathing. Bend your right knee and bounce a couple of times like a motorcycle ride until you're sitting down low enough. Your right thigh bicep is parallel to the floor. In the front mirror, it looks like an upside down L as in Linda. Don't let your hips come up anymore. Stay down there. Push your hips forward. Upper body back. Keep your spine straight in the center. Inhale, breathing. Move both your arms right up in front of the right knee. Bring your right hand down. Put your fingertips in between your big and second toe. Don't touch the floor. There is no pressure on the fingertips against the floor. Look up to the ceiling. Touch your chin to the left shoulder. So the profile of your face is exactly visible in the front mirror. Stretch your left arm up. You're trying to touch the ceiling. Right arm is stretching down. You're trying to touch your toes. In other words, your both arms shoulders, they're stretching each other up and down in opposite directions. It's a natural human traction. Push your left hip forward towards the mirror. At the same time, push your right knee back with the half of the right elbow. Touch your toes. Turn and twist your upper body back like the spine twisting posture. Left knee is locked. Left foot stays flat on the floor. Slowly come up. Turn your right foot in. Turn your left foot out. Turn it a half an inch more until it's exactly parallel. Two heels in one line from the side. Inhale, breathing, bend your left knee and bounce. Left femur bone parallel to the floor. Upside down L like Linda. Push your hips more forward. Upper body back. Keep your spine straight in the center. Inhale, breathing, move both your arms. Left up in front of the left knee. Elbow does not go below the knee. There's no hanging out on the elbow against your knee. Look up to the ceiling. Touch your chin to the right shoulder so the profile of your face is exactly visible in the front mirror. Stretch your right arm up. You're trying to touch the ceiling. Left arm is stretching down. You're trying to touch your toes. In other words, words, your both arm shoulders, they're stretching each other up and down in opposite directions. It's a natural human traction. You're trying to create a big triangle gap between your chest and your left thigh. Push your right hip forward towards the mirror. At the same time, push your left knee back with the half of the left elbow. Touch your toes. Turn. Twist the upper body back like the spine twisting posture. Right knee is locked. Right foot stays flat on the floor. Slowly come up. Turn your left foot in. Right foot back. Arms over your head. And arms down. Stand still. And take a breath. Second set, feet together nicely, heels and toes together. Arms over there sideways, right leg steps to the right, big step, four feet minimum, immediately arms down parallel to the floor. Look at yourself in the front mirror, push your hips more forward, upper body back, spine straight. Turn your right foot out to the right, turn it a half an inch more until it's exactly parallel. Two heels in one line from the side. Inhale, breathing, bend your right knee and bounce. Use the bounce, see how low you can go. The right thigh bicep is parallel to the floor, it looks like an upside down L as in Linda. Don't let your hips come up anymore, stay down there. Inhale, breathing with both your arms. Right arm in front of the right knee. Bring the right hand down. Put your fingertips in between your big and second toe. Don't touch the floor. There is no pressure on the fingertips against the floor. Look up to the ceiling. Touch your chin to the left shoulder so the profile of your face is exactly visible in the front mirror. Stretch your left arm up. You're trying to touch the ceiling. Right arm is stretching down. You're trying to touch your toes. In other words, your both arm shoulders. They're stretching each other up and down in opposite directions. It's a natural human traction. Push your left hip forward towards the mirror. At the same time, push your right knee back with the half of the right elbow. Touch your toes. Turn. Twist the upper body back like the spine twisting posture. Left knee is locked. Left foot stays flat on the floor. Slowly come up. Turn your right foot in. Turn your left foot out. Turn it a half an inch more until it's exactly parallel. Two heels in one line from the side. Inhale, breathing. Bend your left knee and bounce. Left femur bone is parallel to the floor. It looks like that upside down L as in Linda. Push your hips more forward. Upper body leans back. Your spine straight in the center. Don't let the hips come up anymore. Stay down there. Inhale, breathing with both your arms. Left elbow in front of the left knee. Elbow does not go below the knee. There's no hanging out on the elbow against the knee. You're just pushing the knee back with the hub of the elbow. Look up to the ceiling. Touch your chin to the right shoulder. So the profile of your face is exactly visible in the front mirror. Stretch your right arm up. You're trying to touch the ceiling. Left arm is stretching down, you're trying to touch your toes. In other words, your both arm shoulders, they're stretching each other up and down in opposite directions. It's a natural human traction. Perfect marriage between your heart and your lungs. Push your right hip forward towards the mirror. At the same time, push your left knee back with the half of the left elbow. Touch your toes. Turn. 
Twist the upper body back like the spine, twisting posture. Right knee is locked, right foot stays flat on the floor. Slowly come up, turn your left foot in. Right foot back, arms of your head. And arms down, stand still. And take a breath. Standing separate leg, head to knee pose is next. Dandiyamana, Papakta Pada, Jani Sharasana. Feet together nicely, your heels and toes together. Arms over the head side with hands, palms together. Only cross your thumbs. Right leg steps to the right, big step. Three foot minimum, 36 inches. Turn to the right, 180 degrees. Everybody turn your hips five times more. Beyond your flexibility. Two hips in one line. Two heels in one line. Your backside foot stays at a 45 degree angle. Stretch up. Axle breathing round down. Tuck your chin to your chest. Look at your stomach. And touch your forehead to the knee. If you cannot touch your forehead to the knee today, you have to bend up your knee to create a compression for your thyroid and your pancreas, the forehead must touch with your knee. Stretch your fingertips beyond the toes. Keep your elbows locked out. Push your fingertips into the floor. Try to get your knee locked, throat choked. Eyes open, the breathing is always normal. Bring maximum body weight to your front side leg so that your right side hip is sticking up more towards the ceiling. You're trying to get the two hips in one line from the side. Your back side heel must be flat on the floor. Very quickly use the forehead, push the knee back. Try to lock your knee a couple of times at the end. Slowly come up, arms and head together. Head comes up last, take your time. Turn to the center, turn to the left. 185 degrees, everybody, turn your hips five times more. Two hips in one line, two heels in one line, your backside foot stays at a 45 degree angle, stretch up, axle breathing round down. Tuck your chin, look at your stomach, touch your forehead to the knee. The eight most important things are working together for the first time here. Compression of your thyroid, extension of the pituitary gland, compression of your pancreas, extension of your kidneys, extending the back of your brain, the medulla, the oblongata, opening the throat chakra and the crown chakra, balancing out the pH levels in your stomach, excellent for the entire digestive system, boosting your immune system, balancing out the endocrine system. Very quickly, use the forehead, push the knee back, lock your knee. Slowly come up, arms and head together. Head comes up last, turn to the center, right leg back, and arms down. Stand still, and take a breath. Second set, feet together nicely, heels and toes together. Arms over there sideways, hands, palms together, only cross your thumbs. Right leg steps to the right, big step, three foot minimum, 36 inches. Turn to the right, 180 degrees. Everybody turn your hips five times more. Two hips in one line, two heels in one line. Your backside foot stays at a 45 degree angle, stretch up. Axle breathing round down. Tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, touch your forehead to the knee. This posture is a combination between the balancing stick arms and the rabbit spine. So elbows are locked out and you're rounding your spine, your throat is choked, the eyes stay open, the breathing is normal. Maximum body weight to your front side leg. So that your right side hip is sticking up more towards the ceiling, you're trying to get the two hips in one line from the side. Your back side heel must be flat on the floor. Very quickly use the forehead, push the knee back, try to lock your knee a couple of times at the end. Slowly come up, arms and head together. Head comes up last, turn to the center, turn to the left. 185 degrees, everybody. Turn the hips five times more beyond your flexibility. Try to get your two hips in one line, two heels in one line. Your backside foot stays at a 45 degree angle. Stretch up, axle breathing round down. Tuck your chin to your chest. Look at your stomach and touch your forehead to the knee. Stretch your fingertips beyond the toes. Keep your elbows locked out. Push your fingertips into the floor. You're trying to get your knee locked, throat choked. Eyes open, the breathing is always normal. Bring maximum body weight to your front side leg so that your left side will be sticking up more towards the ceiling. You're trying to get those two hips in one line from the side. Your back side heel must be flat on the floor. Very quickly use the forehead, push the knee back. Lock your knee, slowly come up, arms and head together. Head comes up last, turn to the center, right leg back, and arms down. Please come to the middle of your mat for tree pose, Tadasana. Feet together nicely, your heel, heels and toes together. <clears throat> Focus on yourself in the front mirror. Please don't move or blink the eyes. Lift your right leg up from underneath with the help of your left hand. Right leg lifts all the way up as high as possible until the heel touches the costume and the sole of the foot is facing the ceiling. Please be very careful of the right knee. Slowly and gently let the right knee come down. Push your hips forward and gently push the right knee back, opening up your hips, opening up your pelvis. 
The same principle here as in triangle posture. Try to get your two knees in one line from the side, two hips in one line, two shoulders in one line. Bring your right hand up to the center of your chest. Left hand comes up to meet it into Namaskar. Stretch your spine up. Focus on the left knee. Left knee is locked. Left thigh muscles contracted. Hold it. Freeze. Don't move a muscle. You can't even blink the eyes. Just freeze. Change. Right leg down. <clears throat> Keep the focus on yourself. Lift your left leg up from underneath with the help of your right hand. Left leg lifts all the way up as high as possible until the heel touches the costume and the sole of the foot is facing the ceiling. Be very careful of the left knee. Slowly and gently let the left knee come down. Push your hips forward and gently push the left knee back. Open up your hips, open up your pelvis. Same principle as in triangle posture. Try to get the two knees in one line from the side. Two hips in one line, two shoulders in one line. Bring your left hand up to the center of your chest. Right hand comes up to meet it into Namaskar. Stretch your spine up. Focus on the right knee. Right knee is locked. Right thigh muscles are contracted. Hold it and freeze. Don't move a muscle. You can't even blink the eyes. Just freeze. Change. Left leg down. Next is toe stand. Parangustasana. Feet together nicely. Your heels and toes together. Focus on the floor. Four feet in front of you. Don't move or blink the eyes. Lift your right leg up to middle of your left thigh. It can be high or low on the thigh, wherever it's comfortable for you today. Bring your two hands together into Namaskar. Exhale, breathing slowly, bend your body down. Touch your two hands, 10 fingertips on the floor. Push into the floor, slowly bend your knee. Sit down on the top of your heel. Walk your hands to either side on the body, balancing out, balancing on your fingertips. Try to get the two knees in one line from the side. Bring your left hand up to the center of your chest. Right hand comes up to meet it. Namaskar. Stretch your spine up. Creating a half inch gap between your hips and your heels. Balance their freeze. This is a natural human traction without a machine. Change. Please come up the opposite way you went in. And everybody can release with the right leg down. Keep the focus on the floor. Four feet in front of you. Lift your left leg up to middle of your right thigh. High or low in the thigh. Bring your two hands together into Namaskar. Exhale, breathing. Slowly bend your body down. Touch your two hands. Ten fingertips on the floor. Push into the floor. Slowly bend your knees. Sit down on the top of your heel. Walk your hands to either side on the body. Balancing on your fingertips. Try to get two knees in one line from the side. Bring your left hand up to the center of your chest. Right hand comes up to meet it into Namaskar. Stretch your spine up, creating a half inch gap between your hips and your heels. Balance their freeze, natural human traction. Imagine I'm pulling your hair up towards the ceiling. Change, come up here. The opposite way you went in, very good everybody. Good effort. Left leg down and everybody release. Acknowledge your hard work in the front mirror here. Turn around, you get two minutes. Total stillness, relaxation, allowing your body to assimilate the entire standing series. Take some water if you need it. The eyes stay open, the breathing is normal through the nose, the mouth stays closed, the body is still. The breath is coming in, the belly rises, the breath is going out, the belly falls. That's the only movement in the body. Thoughts are coming, you let them come and let them go. Just follow your breath. In through the nose, out by the nose.
Excellent stillness, everybody. Next is wind removing pose, Pavana Mukhtasana. Right leg lifts up. Hold your right leg exactly, two inches below your knee. Interlocked fingers, nice tight grip. Pull your right knee down and out all the way towards the right shoulder, completely avoiding the rib cage. Make sure the left leg is straight so the calf muscle is touching the floor. If the calf muscle is not touching the floor, then flex your foot. Chin down towards your chest to get your neck flat on the floor. No gap underneath. Bring your elbows close to your body, shoulders are relaxed, touching the floor. Pull down harder and absolutely freeze. Eyes open, breathing normal, freeze. You can't even blink the eyes. You have to pull down a little extra hard. Make sure the hip joint hurts. Maximum pressure in the lower abdomen. Change, right leg down. Left leg lifts up, hold your left leg exactly two inches below your knee, interlocked fingers, nice side grip. Pull your left knee down all the way towards the left shoulder, completely avoiding the rib cage. Make sure the right leg is straight, so the calf muscle is touching the floor. Chin down towards your chest to get your neck flat on the floor. No gap underneath. Bring your elbows close to your body, shoulders are relaxed, touching the floor. Pull down harder and absolutely freeze. Eyes open, breathing normal, freeze. You have to pull down a little extra hard. Make sure the hip joint hurts. Maximum pressure in the lower abdomen. Hip joint might hurt a little bit. Change, left leg down. Immediately both legs lift up. Grab your elbows, each other over the knees. Two feet touching each other, side by side, relaxed position. Shoulders are relaxed, tuck your chin to your chest, neck flat on the floor. Eventually in the future, when the bone joins, the skeletal system in your body has improved enough, your entire spine will be flat on the floor. Don't move, don't blink, just freeze. Change, both legs down, heels together, toes open, palms up. Let everything go. 20 seconds in between each and every posture on the floor. Fresh, high-speed, nutrient-rich blood rushing throughout those areas of compression. Natural human irrigation of the circulatory system with the help of your respiratory system. Second set, right leg lifts up, hold your right leg exactly two inches below your knee, interlocked fingers, nice tight grip. Pull your right knee down and out all the way towards the right shoulder, completely avoiding your rib cage. Make sure the left leg is straight so the calf muscle is touching the floor. Chin down towards your chest to get your neck flat on the floor, no gap underneath. Bring your elbows close into your body, shoulders are relaxed, touching the floor. Pull down harder and absolutely freeze. Eyes open, breathing normal, freeze. You can't even blink the eyes, you have to pull down a little extra hard. Make sure the hip joint hurts. Maximum pressure in the lower abdomen, massaging the ascending colon. Change, right leg down. Left leg lifts up, hold your left leg exactly, two inches below your knee, interlocked fingers. Nice, tight grip, pull your left knee down and out all the way towards the left shoulder, completely avoiding your rib cage. Make sure the right leg is straight so the calf muscle is touching the floor. Chin down towards your chest to get your neck flat on the floor. No gap underneath. Bring your elbows in close to your body. Shoulders are relaxed, touching the floor. Pull down harder and absolutely freeze. Eyes open, breathing normal, freeze. You have to pull down a little extra hard. Make sure the hip joint hurts. Maximum pressure in the lower abdomen, massaging your descending colon. Change, left leg down. Immediately both legs lift up. Grab your elbows, each other over the knees. Two feet touching each other, side by side, relaxed position. Shoulders are relaxed, tuck your chin to your chest to get your neck flat on the floor, no gap underneath. Eventually in the future, when the bone joins, the skeletal system has improved enough, your entire spine will be flat on the floor. You're massaging your transverse colon, don't move a muscle. You can't even blink the eyes, just freeze. Change, both legs down, heels together, toes up, toes flop open. Eyes stay open, breathing is normal through the nose and the mouth is closed. Relax. Next, we're going to do a sit-up. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, heels on the floor. Arms of your head, cross your thumbs, arms and head together, inhale breathing quickly, sit up, exhale breathing, grab your toes, double jerk, touch your forehead to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around everybody, lie down on your stomach for cobra pose, bhujan asana. Chin is out on the mat, get your neck flat on the floor. Get your hands underneath your shoulders, very close in with your chest, 
Keep your five fingers together, touching each other to keep your hands, palms flat on the floor. There's no cupped hands in this posture. Fingertips in line with the tops of your shoulders, baby fingers in line with your deltoids, glue them down. Distribute the body weight all over your hands, palms equally the same. Please don't move your hands throughout the posture. From start to finish, keep your feet and your heels together. Feet stay flat on the floor. You have one leg like a cobra tail. Don't open it, leg muscles nice and tight. Hip muscles solid, concrete one piece, elbows touch your body, drop your shoulders down. Look up to the ceiling, inhale breathing. Lift your upper body up using your 100% back strength. Only your belly, but knees touching the floor, the rest of your upper body is in the air. At the same time from the side, the elbow should be L90 degree angle like a rectangle. Stretch your elbows down towards the hips, arms, elbows touch your body, drop your shoulders down. Trapezius muscles should be visible in the front and out, chest up. Everybody go up, come up a couple of inches, your back back is supposed to hurt. Shoulders down, chest up, come up, go up, come up a little more, hold it there, freeze. Slowly lower down, look to the right. Left ears on the tongue. Breathe and relax. Completely relax. Second set, chin is out on the mat, leg flat on the floor. Get your hands underneath your shoulders, very close in with your chest. Keep your five fingers together, touching each other. Fingertips in line with the tops of your shoulders. Baby fingers in line with your deltoids. Glue them down. Distribute the body weight all over the hands, palms equally the same. From start to finish, keep your feet and your heels together. Feet stay flat on the floor. You have one leg like a cobra tail. Don't open it, leg muscles nice and tight. Hip muscles solid, concrete one piece, elbows touch your body, drop your shoulders down. Look up to the ceiling, inhale breathing, lift your upper body up. Using your 100% back strength, only your belly, butt knees touching the floor, the rest of your upper body is in the air. At the same time from the side, the elbows should be L90 degree angle like a rectangle. Stretch your elbows down towards the hips, arms, elbows touch your body, drop your shoulders down. Trapezius muscles should be visible in the front one out, chest up. Everybody go up, come up a couple of inches, your back is supposed to hurt. Shoulders down, chest up, come up, go up, more up, hold it, freeze. Slowly lower down, look to the left, right ears on the top. Breathe and relax, <clears throat> completely relax. Circulatory system with the help of the respiratory system, bringing the body back to its normal circulation, flooding the lower lumbar spine with fresh, high-speed nutrient rich blood. It's like the Hoover Dam effect. Tenny cut. Next is locus for Shalabhasana. Lie in your stomach, arms straight position. Get your arms underneath your stomach. Hands, palms are facing the floor. Elbows underneath your stomach, completely invisible. Elbows are supposed to hurt. Fingers apart, grab the floor with your fingertips. Two little baby fingers touching each other side by side. Chin is out on the mat. Left leg relaxed. Right leg is solid. Concrete point to your toes. Inhale, breathing. Slowly turn your right leg, lift off the floor. Minimum 45 degrees. That's only half of 90. Lock your knee. Point your toes to the back. We'll get your leg up. Get your leg up. Back should hurt. Elbow should hurt. Leg up. Go up. More up. Slowly lower down. Relax the leg. Don't use it. Left leg, solid, concrete point to your toes. Inhale, breathing slowly, join your left leg, lift off the floor. Minimum 45 degrees, half of 90. Lock your knee, point your toes to the back, get your leg up, get your leg up, leg up, leg up, leg up, go up, more up. Slowly lower down, turn the head in. Mouth is touching the floor. Readjust your hands, palms, everybody. Get your elbows close underneath your stomach. Don't let your mouth come off the floor in the air. Four lungs. Inhale, breathing without bending your knees. Both legs left up. Everybody go up. Everybody come up. Struggle a little bit harder. Please don't give up. Knees lock. Point your toes to the back. Or get your legs up. Get your legs up. Legs up. Legs up. Legs up. Go up. More up. Slowly lower down. Look to the right. Left ears on the towel. And you relax completely. Eyes open. Breathing through the nose. The mouth is closed. Fresh, high speed, Newton Bridge blood rushing throughout those areas of compression. Particularly here, the elbows, the wrists, the forearms. Relieving all those little diseases that like to attack our joints, arthritis, tendonitis, tennis elbow. Second set, arms straight position, get your arms underneath your body, your hands, palms are facing the floor. Elbows underneath your stomach, invisible. 
Fingertips apart, grab the floor with your fingertips. Two little baby fingers touching each other side by side, chin is out on the mat. Left leg relax, right leg is solid, concrete point to your toes. Inhale, breathing slowly, journey, right leg lifts up one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Solid little down, relax the leg, don't use it. Left leg, solid, concrete point to your toes. Inhale, breathing, left leg lifts up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slow little down, turn the head in, mouth is touching the floor. Readjust your hands, palms, everybody. Get your elbows close underneath your stomach. Don't let your mouth come off the floor in the air. Full lungs. Inhale, breathing without bending your knees. Both the legs lift up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slow little down, look to the left. Right ears on the towel. Breathe and relax. Next is full locust pose, Purna Shalabhasana. Arms out to the side, like aeroplane wings, palms are facing down. Keep your five fingers together, touching each other. Chinese on on the mat, legs and feet together. Hip and neck muscles are nice and tight. You have one leg, don't open it. Knees lock, point your toes. Look up to the ceiling, inhale, breathing. Lift your arms, body, head, legs, everything lifts off the floor. 747 is taking off. Look up, look up, chest up, arms up, arms back. Your fingertips should be at the same level as the top of your head. Only the hip bones are touching the floor. The rest of your body is in the air. Chest up, chest up, chest up. Look up, body up, chest up. Come up, go up, more up. Exhale, breathing, come up one more time. Slowly lower down. Look to the right, left is on the towel. You breathe and relax. Let everything go. Completely relax. This posture is working on the middle thoracic spine. Pigram says it's the hardest one part of the spine to make progress in the middle spine. We keep trying. Second set. Arms out to this side like airplane wings. Palms are facing down. Five fingers are together. Chin is on the mat. Legs and feet together. Hip and leg muscles nice and tight. You have one leg. Don't open it. Knees lock. Point your toes. Look up to the ceiling. Inhale. Breathing. Lift your arms. Body head. Legs. Everything lifts off the floor. 747. Taking off. Look up. Look up. Chest up. Arms up. Arms back. Your fingertips should be at the same level as the top of your head. Only the hip bones are touching the floor. The rest of your body in the air. Chest up. Chest up. Chest up. Look up. Body up. Chest up. Come up. Go up. More up. Exhale. Breathing. Come up. One more time. Slowly lower down, look to the left. Right ears on the top. Breathe and relax. Completely relax. Next is bow pose, Dhanurasana. Turn knees down on the mat, hold your feet from the outside, two inches below your toes, five fingers are together. Thumbs are touching with your index fingers. Please keep six inches gap between your knees, six inches gap between your feet, wrists are straight, point to your toes. The arms and the legs should look like two wheels in one base. Inhale, breathing slowly, journey both legs, kick up. Look up and kick up continuously, keep kicking your legs behind you, don't stop kicking. Roll forward until your toes on the center from the side, kick back more, kick harder. Head up more, bring your knees more in the wrist are straight, point to your toes, kick the legs behind you, kick more, kick harder, kick, 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 kick. Slowly lower down. Very good, look to the right, left ears on the towel. Big, huge compression for your spine, 360 degree backward bending against gravitation. Completely relax. Thousands of nerve endings getting fresh, high speed, nutrient rich blood. Healthy spine, healthy life. All the messages are sent from the brain through the spine to the rest of the body. It's most important to keep the spine strong, flexible, healthy. Second set, chin is down on the mat. Hold your feet from the outside. Two inches below your toes, five fingers are together. Thumbs are touching with your index fingers. Six inches gap between your knees. Six inches gap between your feet. Rest straight. Arms and legs look like two wheels in one base. Inhale, breathing slowly, journey both legs. Kick up, look up and kick up. Continuously keep kicking your legs behind you. Don't stop kicking. Roll forward until your toes are in the center from the side. Kick back more, kick harder, head up more. Bring your knees more in the wrist or straight. Point to your toes, kick the legs behind you. Kick more, kick harder, kick, 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 kick. Slowly lower down. 
Look to the left side of the room, right ears on the tongue. And you relax completely. Let everything go. Everybody, please come to the top of your tongue for fixed firm pose. Suptivajrasana. Sit down Japanese down with your knees and your feet together. Separate your feet and put your hips in between your heels. The hips are touching the floor and the heels are touching with your hips throughout the posture. Open your knees if you have to. Put your hands on the toes, thumbs on the inside, fingers on the outside. Please go down with the help of your right and your left elbow one by one. Head is touching the floor, back of your head, shoulders touch the floor. Whole upper body relax on the floor. Bring your arms over the head, pull the elbows down towards the floor, tuck your chin to your chest, get your neck flat on the floor. Lift your chest and stomach up high towards the ceiling, creating a perfect natural human bridge in the body. Eventually in the future, you can slowly start to bring your knees together to touch. Please make sure that your knees never come off the floor in the air. The eyes stay open, the breathing is always normal. Slowly come up, one elbow at a time, right and left, head comes up. Turn around and you relax completely. Heels together, toes open, palms up. Let everything go. Completely relax. Second set, toes and heels together, flex your feet, heels down the floor. Arms of your head, cross your thumbs, arms and head together, inhale breathing quickly, sit up, exhale breathing, grab your toes. Double jab, touch your forehead to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around everybody, come back to the top of your towel. Sit down Japanese style with your knees and your feet together. Separate your feet and put your hips in between your heels. The hips are touching the floor and the heels are touching with your hips throughout the posture. Put your hands on the toes, thumbs on the inside, fingers on the outside. Go down with the help of your right and left double, one by one. Head is touching the floor, back of your head, shoulders touch the floor, whole upper body relaxed on the floor. Bring your arms over the head, pull the elbows down towards the floor, tuck your chin to your chest, get your neck flat on the floor. Lift your chest and stomach up high. The higher you lift the chest and stomach, the more medical benefits you will receive in this posture, you're stretching out the spleen. The spleen is assisting your liver. You're also getting rid of the fat on top of your belly. Eventually, in the future, bring those knees together to touch. You might feel a cramping sensation on the top of your thighs like a charley horse. Make sure that the knees never come off the floor in the air. The eyes stay open. The breathing is always normal. Slowly come up, one elbow at a time. Right and left, head comes up, turn around, and you relax completely. Heels together, toes open, palms up. Let everything go. Make sure the eyes stay open. We stay present in the room. You keep the mouth closed. We're breathing through the nose. Keep the body still. Breath is coming out, in through the nose, belly rise. Breath is coming out of the nose, the belly falls. That's the only movement. The belly is rising and falling as the breath is coming in and out. Thoughts are coming, that's okay, that's normal. That's the job of the mind, it creates thoughts. You watch the thoughts, you let them come, you let them go like clouds in the sky. Don't push them away, don't run away with them. Just watch them. It's in the watching that they will dissolve. You have to come get behind the thinking. The pure awareness, that's where you are. So we have to watch the thoughts so that we can get behind the thinking. And out of the pattern. Next is half toe pose, Adakamasana. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, heels down the floor. Arms of your head, cross your thumbs, arms and head together, inhale, breathing quickly, sit up, exhale, breathing, grab your toes, double toe, touch your forehead to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around, everybody, sit down, Japanese down, kneel down position. Feet flat on the floor, no gap underneath your ankles. 
Arms on the head, sideways, hands, palms together. Only cross your thumbs. Stretch your arms up towards the ceiling. You're trying to touch the ceiling. Elbows locked. Arms stay touching with your ears. Chin up. Hips stay touching with your heels throughout the posture. Stomach air, legs, everything go down front side. Touch your forehead to the floor first. Little fingers touching the floor. The rest of your arms stay in the air. Elbows locked. Make sure your shoulders hurt. Scapula coming out of the body. Everything is stretching forward. Chin is away from your chest. Stretch forward more. Chin forward more. Heels stay touching with your hips. Start the posture, suck your stomach in, inhale, breathing and gently come up, arms and head together, and arms on by your side, turn around, and relax completely, 20 seconds, all the blood is rushing to the head, the head is lower than the heart, so you're reorganizing, re-energizing, overused, underused brain cells, in 30 seconds you can receive more relaxation in this posture than sometimes 8, 6 to 8 hours of sleep, very dynamic. Think about balancing stick arms as you come down here. So it's like the balancing stick posture, except you don't have to worry about balancing. You're just keeping the heels on the hips. Second set, toes and heels together, flex your feet, heels stand the floor. Arms of your head, cross your thumbs, arms and head together, inhale, breathe in, quickly sit up, exhale, breathe in, grab your toes, double jerk, touch your forehead, and knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around, everybody, come back to the of your towel, sit down, Japanese style, kneel down position, feet flat on the floor, no gap underneath your ankles. Arms over the head, sideways, hands, palms together, only cross your thumbs, stretch your arms up towards the ceiling, you're trying to touch the ceiling, elbows locked, arms stay with the ears, chin up, hips stay touching with your heels, suck your stomach in, exhale breathing, go down front side, touch your forehead to the floor first, little fingers touch the floor, the rest of your arms stay there, stretch your arms more forward, elbows locked, everything is stretching forward. Latissimus dorsi, that big flat muscle on the back, trapezius muscles in between your shoulder, your neck area, the deltoid stretch forward, elbows locked. Chin is away from your chest, stretch forward more, chin forward more, heels stay touching with your hips throughout the posture, suck your stomach in, inhale, breathing and gently come up, arms and head together, and arms down by your side, turn around, and you relax completely. Heels together, toes open, palms up, let everything go. Completely relax. So now we've prepared our spine for 75 minutes. Now the spine is ready for the biggest compression in the sequence, Camel Pose Ustrasana. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, heels stand the floor. Arms of your head, cross your thumbs, arms and head together, inhale, breathe in. Quickly sit up, exhale, breathe in, grab your toes. Double jerk, touch your forehead to the knees, arms to the floor. Turn around, everybody, come to the top of your tongue. Stand up on your knees, we're all going to do it together, word by word, not before and not after. Stand up on your knees, keep six inches gap between your knees, six inches gap between your feet. Put your hands on your hips, your fingers are pointing down towards the floor. Look at yourself in the front mirror, take a deep breath, push your hips forward towards the mirror, drop your head back as far as it goes, go back halfway then, stop in the middle. First only, right hand grabs the right heel, thumbs outside, fingers inside. Left hand grabs the left heel, thumbs on the outside, fingers on the inside. It's a nice tight grip. Please don't lose the grip. Take a deep breath, exhale, stomach, legs, hips, everything, push more forward towards the mirror. Your back is supposed to hurt. I want 360 degree angle backward, bending for gravitation, push more, push harder, tighten your glute muscles, you have to push and push and push and push and push, put the hands back on your hips, push more forward, spine straight, chest up, turn around and relax completely. Heels together, toes open, palms up. There's nothing else to do, just breathe, relax. Circulatory system with the help of your respiratory system taking care of you. It's normal to feel overwhelmed here. If you are, the nervous system is getting a big jolt. But now fresh, high-speed, neutron-rich blood rushing through those areas. Thousands and thousands of nerve endings. Second set, toes and heels together, flex your feet, heels down the floor. Arms of your head, cross your thumbs, arms and head together, inhale, breathing quickly, sit up, exhale, breathing, grab your toes. Double jerk, touch your forehead to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around, everybody, please come to the top of your towel and stand up on your knees. Everybody together, this time you can keep eight inches a little wider between the knees and to still six between your feet. Put your hands on the hips, the fingers are pointing down towards the floor. Look at yourself in the front mirror, take a deep breath, push your hips forward towards the mirror, drop your head back as far as it goes, go back halfway then stop in the middle. First only, right hand grabs the right heel, thumbs on the outside, fingers on the inside. Left hand grabs the left heel, thumbs on the outside, fingers on the inside. It's a nice full hands, palms grip. Please do not lose your grip. Take a deep breath, exhale. 
exhale, stomach, legs, hips, everything, push more forward towards the mirror. Your back is supposed to hurt. I went 360 degree angle backward, bending for gravitation, push more, push harder, tighten your glute muscles, you have to push and push and push and push and push. Put the hands back on your hips, push more forward, spine straight, chest up, turn around and you relax completely. That's done for the day. Biggest compression of your spine. The next posture is going to be the biggest extension and flexion of the spine. So it's the opposite, complementing. The yin and the yang. You can see in this life, everything works in the opposites. What I like, what I don't like. Night and day, hot and cold. Short and tall. Everything here in this reality works in opposites. Just watch it. But... There's something that's beyond that, right? Pure awareness. So when you can go back to that pure awareness, you can watch everything and you don't have to go up and down with the likes and the dislikes anymore. Everything can be neutral. You just have to connect with that. Pure consciousness. That's why we do yoga. That's why we do mindfulness techniques so that we can become aware of that, who we are. We are not the body, we are not the thoughts, we are not the feelings, the emotions. They keep changing every day, every day, every day, every second they're changing. But we are not that. We are the pure awareness. Rabbit bow, sassing asana, toes and heels together, flex your feet, heels on the floor. Arms of your head, cross your thumbs, arms and head together, inhale, breathing, quick, place that up, exhale, breathing, grab your toes, double chest, touch your forehead to the knees, elbows to the floor, turn around everybody. Sit down in the middle of your towel, Japanese towel, with your knees and your feet together. Please put the towel over your feet and grab the heels over the towel. Thumbs on the outside and fingers on the inside with a nice tight grip. Please do not lose the grip. If you lose the grip here, the whole posture will be over. Pull on your heels as hard as possible. Tuck your chin. Look at your stomach. Go down front side. Touch your forehead to the knees. Automatically, the top of your head is touching the floor. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Lift your hips up towards the ceiling as high as possible. Roll forward like a wheel. Roll like a wheel until your arms and elbows are straight. Today, there's a gap between the knees and the forehead. Start walking the knees one by one. Never move your head in the Posture, total spine should be stretching from top to bottom. The neck might hurt a little bit. Throat is choked, eyes open. The breathing is always normally got to keep pulling, keep pulling. Everybody suck your stomach in, lift the hips up. Slowly come up, very good. Come up, turn around, and you relax completely. A beautiful elongation of the spine, flexion of the spine. Just feels so good after that huge compression. Just relax. Circuitry system with the help of respiratory system is taking care of you, bringing the body back to normal circulation in 20 seconds. Think about how powerful it is, what you're doing here. That's why Bikram, he laughs. He says, what do you think? I'm not selling cheesecake here. And if you think about it, wow, it's incredible what you are doing, how you are redirecting things in your body. You're bringing things back into balance, like your hormonal system, your nervous system. All the systems, they have an opportunity to come back to normal, to come to balance, so that you can be in balance. Everything is present within you. Bikram also says, we have everything. The problem is we don't know how to use it. So he gave us this sequence. So now we just do the sequence and we bring ourselves back into balance. It's a gift for ourselves. Second set. Toes and heels together. Flex your feet. Heels down the floor. Arms of your head. Cross your thumbs. Arms and head together. Inhale. Breathing quick. Please set up. Exhale. Breathing. Grab your toes. Double jerk. Touch your front to the knees. Elbows to the floor. Turn around everybody. Come to the middle of your towel. Sit down Japanese style with your knees and feet together. Please put the towel over your feet and grab the heels over the towel. Thumbs on the outside. Fingers on the inside. A nice tight grip. Pull on your heels as hard as possible, tuck your chin to your chest, go down front side, touch your forehead to the knees, automatically the top of your head touching the floor. Take a deep breath, exhale, lift your hips up towards the ceiling as high as possible. Roll forward like a wheel, roll like a wheel until arms and elbows are straight. If there's a gap today between the knees and forehead, don't be afraid, move your knees, 
one by one until your knees touch with your forehead. Your total spine should be stretching from top to bottom. Your neck might hurt a little bit. Your throat is choked. The eyes stay open. The breathing is always normal. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Suck your stomach in. Lift your hips up. Slowly come up. Turn around and you relax completely. Completely relax. We're nearly there. Max is head to knee with stretching pose. Janish Rasna, Pashimottanasana. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, heels down the floor. Arms over your head, cross your thumbs, arms and head together, inhale, breathing quickly, sit up, exhale, breathing, grab your toes. Double jerk as you fall to the knees, arms to the floor. Turn around everybody, sit facing the front mirrors. Right leg is out corner wise, bend your left leg in. Your left foot sole creates a little bit of pressure against the right thigh bicep of your thigh muscle. Try to bring your heel high up as high as possible towards the pubic bone. Legs look like a 90 degree angle. Arms over the head sideways, center the right, grab your right foot two inches below your toes, ten fingers into lock. Pull on your toes, flex your foot. Try to lift your heel off the floor in the air, just like rabbit pose. Tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, touch your forehead to the knee. If you cannot touch your forehead to the knee, today you have to bend the knee up to create a compression for your thyroid and your pancreas. The forehead must touch with your knee. Elbows in close with your calf muscles. Roll into the left side. Left shoulder rolls in, left elbow rolls in, roll in, roll in to the left side. Left knee stays touching the floor. Try to get your head close in towards your stomach. Push your right knee down. Change, come up, left leg out. Right leg in, right foot sole creates the pressure against the left thigh, bicep above your thigh muscle. Turn to the left, grab your left foot two inches below your toes. Ten fingers interlock, pull on your toes and flex your foot. Try to lift your heel off the floor in the air, just like rabbit. Tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, touch your forehead to the knee. Elbows close with your calf muscles, roll into the right side. Right shoulder rolls in, right elbow rolls in, roll in, roll in to the right side. Right knee stays touching the floor. Try to get your head close in towards your stomach. Push your left knee down. Change, come up, both legs up. Lie down, quickly sit up. Grab the big toes with the help of your middle and index fingers, two-piece fingers. Get your head up, walk your hips back several times, right and left and right and left. About 10 to 15 times until your both knees are locked. If your knees are locked, and your heels are lifting off the floor in the air, then only bend the elbows down. Stretch your body forward from the lower spine, touch your stomach on your thighs, chest on your knees, forehead will touch your toes, you're gonna keep pulling. Chin forward, bring your head forward. The goal of the posture is eventually in the future to touch your forehead to your toes. Slowly come up, turn around, and you relax completely. Heels together, toes open, palms up. Let everything go. Second set, toes and heels together, flex your feet, heels down the floor. Arms over your head, cross your thumbs, arms and head together, inhale, breathing quickly, sit up. Exhale, breathing, grab your toes, double jerk, touch your forehead to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around, everybody, sit facing the front mirrors. Right leg is out corner-wise, bend your left leg in. Again, the left foot sole creates the pressure against the right thigh, bicep above your thigh muscle. Arms over the head sideways, turn to the right. Grab your right foot two inches below your toes, ten fingers interlock, pull on your toes, flex your foot. Try to lift your heel off the floor in the air. Just like rabbit pose, tuck your chin to your chest. Look at your stomach, touch your forehead to the knee. Elbows in close with your calf muscles. Roll into the left side. Left shoulder rolls in, left elbow rolls in, rolling into the left side. Left knee stays touching the floor. Try to get your head close in toward your stomach. Push your right knee down. Change, come up. Left leg out. Right leg in, right foot sole creates pressure against the left thigh bias above your thigh muscle. Turn to the left, grab your left foot two inches below your toes, ten fingers interlock, pull on your toes and flex your foot. Try to lift your heel off the floor in the air, just like rabbit pose, tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, touch your forehead to the knee. Elbows in close with your calf muscles, roll into the right side. 
right shoulder rolls in, right elbow rolls in, roll in, roll in to the right side, right knee stays touching the floor, try to get your head close in towards your stomach, push your left knee down, change, come on, both legs out, lie down and quickly sit up, grab the big toes with the help of your middle and index fingers, the two-piece fingers, get your head up, walk your hips back several times, right and left and right and left, about 10 to 15 times until your both knees are locked. If your knees are locked and your heels are lifting off the floor in the air, then only bend the elbows down. Stretch your body forward from the lower spine. Touch your stomach on your thighs. Chest on your knees forward. Well, touch your toes. You're keep pulling. Chin forward. Bring your head forward. The goal of the posture is eventually in the future to touch your forehead to your toes. Slowly, come on. Turn around and you relax completely. Heels together. Toes open. Thumbs up. Let everything go. In through the nose, out by the nose. <clears throat> and Bikram saves the best for last. Spine twist. Adha Matsya and Rasna. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, heels turn the floor. Arms of your head, cross your thumbs, arms and head together, inhale breathing quick, place it up. Exhale breathing, grab your toes, double jerk, touch your forehead to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn to the left side of the studio, bend your left knee on the floor. Bring your right foot over the left knee corner, the heel, H, E, E, L, heel is touching the knee, the foot stays flat on the floor. Two hips are touching the floor comfortably to keep your spine straight, 90 degree angle perpendicular. Point your left toes back, make sure that you're not sitting on your left heel. Left arm up in front of your elbow, exactly against the knee. Push the knee back with the hub of your elbow, turn the wrist and grab your left knee. Look down, make sure the hand, the heel, the knee, all three things are touching at the same place. Today, if you cannot grab the knee, grab the towel, create some traction, keep the spine straight. Right arm behind you, palm facing up, grab your inner left thigh with your right fingertips. Beginners can put the hand at the back of the spine, fingers are pointing out, stretch up. Open your chest, open your ribcage, look over the right shoulder, look way, way over the shoulder, your chin is over the shoulder, you're twisting right side. Your total spine should be twisting from the coccyx to the neck. The joints of each and every vertebra and cartilage are stacked on top of each other like a beautiful pearl necklace. Everybody twist. And twist, and twist and twist and twist and twist your last chance twist change bend your right knee on the floor bring your left foot over the right knee corner the heel h e e l heel touching the knee the foot stays flat on the floor two hips touching the floor comfortably right arm up in front of your elbow exactly against the knee push the knee back with the hub of the elbow turn the wrist and grab that knee Left arm behind you, palm facing up, grab your inner right thigh with your left fingertip, stretch up. Open your chest, open your ribcage, look over the left shoulder. Look way, way over the shoulder, your chin is over the shoulder, you're twisting left side. Your total spine should be twisting, coccyx to the neck. The joints of each and every vertebra and cartilage twisting like a beautiful pearl necklace, everybody twist. And twist, and twist, and twist, and twist, your last chance, twist. Change, turn around, and you relax completely, heels together. Toes open, hands up, let everything go. We have one breathing exercise left, couple body breathing, that's excellent for cooling and cleansing the body. We start with pranayama, deep breathing, good for the lungs, the respiratory system. We end off with couple body breathing. So, Feet, feet, toes and heels together, flex your feet, heels down the floor. Arms of your head, cross your thumbs, arms and head together, inhale breathing, quickly sit up, exhale breathing, grab your toes, double jerk, touch your forehead to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around everybody, come to the middle of your towel, sit down Japanese style, knees and feet together. Elbows are locked to keep your spine straight, the spine is straight to support your belly, the belly is nice and loose, relaxed, your shoulders are relaxed, concentrate, meditate, start please. Enough. Second set, a little faster. Swallow a couple of times, lick your lips, belly relaxed, and start. That's enough. 
thank yourself always for showing up here. This is your gift to yourself, 90 minutes. Every day we come to learn something about ourselves in this class. This is the most important part of the class now. This is where your body is going to assimilate all the benefits from the entire 90 minutes, 26 postures, two breathing exercises. If it helps you to close the eyes to relax, you can do that. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Another deep breath in and breathe out. Become aware of your feet, the soles of your feet, the ankles, the toes. Relax your feet, relax your feet. Become aware of your knees. Relax your knees, relax your knees. Become aware of your hips. Relax your hips, relax your hips. Become aware of your belly. Relax your belly, relax your belly. Become aware of your chest and abdomen. Relax your chest, relax your chest. Become aware of your shoulders. Relax your shoulders, relax your shoulders. Become aware of your arms. Relax your arms, relax your arms. Become aware of your fingers and the fingertips. Relax your fingers, relax your fingers. Become aware of your spine. Relax your spine, relax your spine. Become aware of your neck. Relax your neck, relax your neck. Become aware of your head. Relax your head, relax your head. Become aware of your face. Relax your face, relax your face. Let the jaw drop. Allow your body to sink very deep into the floor. Give yourself permission to completely relax. The floor is holding on. Take a deep breath in. And relax. Relaxing more. And more. Even more. Let go of all your efforts. Let go of all your fears, your worries, your judgments, your expectations. And simply relax very deep inside yourself. 